Alright. Hey everybody and welcome Texas. to Wacom Texas. The show where, where you dream past the part and we screencast some art. I'm Dog the Bounty Hunter. And I'm... That was good. And I'm Jay Myers. Just kidding. I'm Chris Kerr. I'm not Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's a copyrighted trademark name. Yeah. Hey, uh... As you could tell, today's episode <clears throat> is... not about abstract art. It's about... Wrestling! Are you ready to rumble? Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? All right, let's get started. All right? Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't... <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away. Um, all right, so you want to tell them what's going on in this? Uh, so we've art? kind of already started on this episode. We have drawn a little bit of ahead of time. That way, we're not going into the 15 minutes. You know. We're saving you guys some time. We're saving everybody some time. All right. As you may notice, I am working very hard on Hulk Hogan's boot laces. This is actually from a classic photograph. If you know anything about wrestling, you know what this photo is already. You know what this is about. If you know anything at all about wrestling, you know what's going on. <laughs> you know what's going on here. And you know... I want to point out that these are knee pads, actually. The um, Hulk Hogan has red, red. knee pads on. Yeah. Yep. All right, so, and when was this? In the 80s? This is the 80s. This is a big, big thing. This is whenever Hulk Hogan won WrestleMania 3. Oh, I didn't know that. This is Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant. The only time Andre the Giant's ever been body slammed. The only time he's ever hit the mat, actually. I only. think he never hit the mat until. Hulk he died when he Hogan. permanently hit the mat. mat. No, he didn't. What do you mean? Did he really? I mean, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Andre the Giant is dead. I mean, you know, a minute like metaphor, he permanently hit the map. Matt. You know what I like about Andre the Giant is this onesie he had on with the uh, one strap. The leotard. Yeah, it's kind of like a Russian leotard. Um, can you actually, can you hit me with the uh, blue? Yeah, so who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Uh, that's a good <laughs> question. I really like The Undertaker. I like also... You said you like John Cena. I like John Cena. I like... Who's the little guy? The Rock. Uh, the Rock's pretty awesome. He's kind of a classic character that's come back, thankfully, for a little while. Who's the little guy with the mask? Ray something? I don't know. Ray Manzarek. <laughs> Ray Manzarek? Ray, Ray Montana? He's got the little uh, Mexican wrestler mask on. Uh, oh, maybe. I don't remember. I like him. Tell you the truth, I don't uh, What about Ric Flair? Ric Flair is classic. Can you need me some white? Um, I've actually been to WWE twice now. Once in Indianapolis, and once somewhere. I've never actually in been, but I played the video game on '64 WWE. I'm always uh, impressed with how all the kids and the families know who sucks, and they're like, "You suck! You suck!" Okay. And they have signs up like, "You suck!" We're keeping the show positive. We're all not right. going to highlight the. Can you meet with some uh, red for red, white, and blue? Because wrestling is all American. Wait. We got the Hulkamania hat on. Yeah. Uh, what is that? A, is that no? That's that's not Freedom Red. Okay. Not Freedom, Freedom Red. Red. I want Freedom Red. Boom. There you go. It's about way better. Freedom Red is the best red. Right. So Andre the Giant's also a classic. Uh, I mean, we all loved him and, and miss him dearly. You know, he's great in movies like Princess Bride, where he plays Fezzik, the Wait, giant. Hold. Hulk Hogan? No, Hulk Hogan is... Hulk Hogan's actually going to be in Illinois. Bolingbrook, Illinois at um, Tracers or something? Give me the Control-Z. I kind of screwed this drawing up a little bit. I screwed the ropes up. I like how uh, Hulk Hogan's face is buried here, but although this is right when Hulk Hogan body slams. No, it's right before he body slams. That's what I meant, yeah. All right, so wrestling, once again, like many of our other themes, we've covered He-Man, Skeletor... Uh, world's greatest pastime, um, murder, the oldest form of death. The most important things with wrestling are sweat, um, tan, unless you are already tan, like you're um, orange, orange, orange skin, or something. Um, leotards, leotards, or spandex, long hair, long hair, um, a deep, powerful voice. What is this? Well, what are you holding up? Um, wrestlers are you always eat pirate booty. That's the wrestler snack booty? of choice. A deep booming voice isn't that necessary. There are characters that don't have. No, deep. Right. I'm. What about I'm ladies not... wrestling? That's pretty awesome, right? Ladies wrestling is pretty awesome. Um, 
Are you done with the drawing? It looks pretty fantastic. I'd like to put in one more highlight. Can you give me some white? And a smaller point size. Okay. Wrestling is all about the details. When you're going to pull like a suplex or suplex or a clothesline, it's like you want to make sure the detail is all there. So I'm putting in... Sweat. Sweat. I'm putting in the, the sweat on the... Uh, the lines here and the gleam. Did you smell what the rock is cooking? Yeah, he used to say Classic that. Classic line. He used to say that a lot. All right, I think if that you is can't my take drawing. the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's it. Oh. Title belt. Title belt right here. I want it. Fair and square. All right, that's. Whoa! That's our show, everybody. That's our show. Wrestling. Boom! <laughs>